Hi, I'm Kareem Satai, international makeup artist to The Body Shop. Hello Cape Town, hello Joe Rock, hello South Africa, hello Beauty Bulletin. I'm here to introduce you to our fabulous extra virgin mineral foundation collection and our honey browns range. So you sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Okay, sweet Ayanda, how are you? I'm alright. That's you wonderful doing? to hear. You look Thanks. stunning. Thanks. You might ask yourself what I'm going to do different to make her look even more pretty than she <laughs> does already. So I'll show you right now. It's a combination of our fantastic extra virgin mineral foundation in liquid and a combination of our honey bronzing gel for face and neck. I just added and transferred a small amount onto a spatula right here. You can see that. Take a foundation brush, extend both together, just really color adjust it, and apply right all over her forehead. As you can see, shape might be a bit light. Don't worry. Once you smudge it, work downwards. It's going to be becoming really color matching to a face tone. Right here, watch your beautiful hairstyle. I blend it down. As you can see that she has a marvelous skin, so it's all about shine and flawless immaculate complexion. So that's what I'm going to create. For the ones of you that don't find it too useful to use a foundation brush, I'm just showing you a second technique. Take a face and body brush, transfer the color on it, and airbrush on. So she's going to look like she just stepped out of an R&B music video. Mm -hmm. So here we are, downward strokes, all over her forehead, down to her temples, upper cheekbones, sides of the face, and down. Don't forget to blend on your jawline. Here she is. How does it feel? Yeah. Okay. Combination product for this can be either compact pressed face powder, any other powder, or our fabulous Bake to Last Bronzing powder shade or one. Take the same brush, load it from both sides, start on your temples, and apply for an extra shimmering result right here. Use it all over your eyelids, as well as all over your lips for a fantastic base. Be chopped up with lip gloss or your favorite color guide lip color. To fix and set those products. My favorite item of all, our vitamin E face mist. So, close your eyes. There you are. And close your eyes. Spritz it all over. Take the same brush again. Blend it down. Blend it in. For the ones of you that want to have pure matte, you can use any of our honey bronze bronzing powders or pressed face powders, like I said, all in one face base whatever you find more convenient for you. Small amount onto the brush. Just on areas you want to mattify in between eyebrows, nose tip, and chin. There we are. Let's start with the blusher. Take that fantastic Honey Bronze Bronzing Powder once again, shade 01, on a blusher brush. Ayanda is going to give me a big fat smile. That's it. Right in the center. Right here, just an extra portion all over her beautiful cheeks. Let's, Let's go to her eyebrows. I've been always asked what's the most important feature you want to highlight on her face. It's definitely the eyebrows. Look at mine. Not. However, I'm using the slanted brush and a fabulous eye color. This is going to be eye color 04. So you load your brush. Tap off the axis and just blend it into the eyebrows. A perfect eyebrow goes up two parts and folds down one part. So you just add it and blend it. There we are. And right here. A powder is so much more natural than a pencil. But for all the ones of you that like to put a bit of extra drama on their face, just use the eyebrow powder pencils and blend it up. Here we are. Another great tip for all of you who struggle with finding the right shape for the eyebrows. Take an eyebrow and lash comb, brush your eyebrows down, choose the highest line, top line, add it on. Take the brush side and brush them up again. And there you are. 
Let's start with your beautiful eyes. Do you have a date tonight? We'll go somewhere? Uh, it's Remember what we said. She promised me to take me out. She forgot. See? <laughs> Taking the fabulous liquid eyeliner shade black. Don't forget to shake the product. There's a little ball inside for those textures to combine. Take your eyeshadow blender brush, your favorite Bake to Last eye color. There are six, seven, I believe six existing here in South Africa. Just load your brush from one side. It's a duo shade. So take the really light shade first. Can you this for me? It's wonderful. Take the liquid eyeliner and use one, two, three drops of liquid eyeliner on top of the eyelid and start transfer the light shade all over and smudge carefully. Like this, you create this really beautiful kind of stunning metallic look. If you struggle from any fall down, product falling down on your cheeks, don't panic. Take a makeup sponge, just a small amount of the foundation you've used and carefully blend it out as it contains all community fair traded marula oil from Namibia that does support a community outside your box as well as it does something good to your skin. Don't forget that that fantastic ingredient will just glide off all those little errors that might occur. Fabulous. You remember what I said? Second eye. Take your liquid eyeliner before you apply that to the eyelid. Don't forget to load your brush right here. To avoid any product falling down, you can also use our vitamin E face mist. Spritz onto the brush. And now continue with the fabulous liquid eyeliner. Outer corner, one, two, three. Take your brush. Softly press it on, turn around the brush, and then blend it carefully up towards the crease. Don't go too high. You don't want to end up being misunderstood. Just really carefully blending up. Second time I'm using the sponge, also for her other eye, just to correct some errors right here. And we can start with the second shade of our fantastic Bake to Last powder, eye powder collection. Eye color powder collection. Whatever using the marvelous black and silver combination right here, taking the eyeshadow blender brush. Ayanda is gonna still hold my purple because I'm gonna use the second darker shade right at the end. So I'm taking the light shade first. And I'm blending up from the top up towards the eyebrows, right here for some highlighter. As she told me that she's taking me out tonight, I want her to look really glamorous. So we're going to do a bit of, a bit more dramatic. Yeah. We are. Starting right in the crease, blending up towards the brows. Try to use one movement, back and forth or up and down, not everything at the same time to avoid any kind of lines that might occur during your application. Okay, as promised. Now, second application technique. Take your eyeshadow blender brush, spritz on it. Take the darker shade of the purple duo, spray on it again, and use it at the outer corner for a bit more depth. Right here, and open. Gorgeous. And right there. So you can see I love to hold on to my vitamin E face mist. Close your eyes and spread throughout your application all over your face to moisturize, set, and fix those products. There we are. Let's continue to beautiful Ayanda's eye line. I'm using the Carbon Eye Definer Shade Black. You might ask yourself, okay, another eye definer product. We have the regular ones, we have the metallic ones, and now we already have the carbon eye definers in three different shades. They are super black and super soft. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to show you my top technique. Take this away from you, I know you love that. But still, look down. So I'm actually going to use it on the inner rim on top eyelid, right here. The second eye, and look down. If you think that your eyes can take a black line on the inner rim, just add some drama. Look up, open, that's right. 
really soft on the inner rim. I have a great tip for all of you that suffer from teary eyes, watery eyes. Stay calm, don't feather air towards your eyes. Stay calm, close your eyes, swallow, and your eyes will stop tearing immediately. Unless your boyfriends have left you, then you can swallow as much as you can. It's not gonna happen. Look up. Right here. In a rim, close and swallow. Take the slanted brush, you remember the one that is slightly slanted that I used for the eyebrows? Take the light shade and give a fantastic combination with light blue, the third color of Baked to Last. Mix those two shades together to really make it fit into Ayanda's dress. Even right here, look up. And use a soft line right under the eyes. Just make sure that you don't overdo it. As soon as you play with colors, on a darker skin tone, they come out much, much more vibrant. So take it easy, layer the product really softly. And look up. Right here. Fantastic. Let me show you my favorite technique. I am in love with liquid eyeliners. Liquid eyeliners are kind of popular here in South Africa and especially in Cape Town, as I find out, as black is momentarily out of stock, but you all come in and find brown and find all the other fantastic eye definer products we have, and we'll be back in stock very soon. Here again, taking these fantastic eye products for you. I'm out, check the product, and I'll show you an alternative application technique that makes it much, much easier for you rather than that one perfect line you all gain for. Take out the product and close. You add it in the center of the eyelid, right here, and work your way by padding inwards. Right here, I'm not shaking. That's it, and close. Same on the second eye. Hand it in. Turn the brush around. An eyeliner doesn't always necessarily have to go up or down or be straight. You just stop where the eyes are. My favorite mascara, one of my favorites, so I'm going to show you on my second look, my second favorite mascara is Super Volume Mascara Shade Black 01. What you do is you take the product out, wait until the brush appears, and you bend the brush, in a 90 degree corner right here, and you look down. What, you, what I do is just set it onto the root, roots, use a zigzag, and blend it up. Like this, her lashes are going to appear much thicker, her lash line is going to be much fuller, and appears to have a more regular eye line. Right here, look down, and it up, and zigzag, brush the product up. Sweetheart, you close your eyes and swap. That's it, great. If you want to avoid looking five years on your age, or five years younger, I'm going to give you my top techniques. Try to avoid black mascara on the bottom lashes. This will add five years to your look, so if you are the girls that want to get into that club, you're not old enough yet, use a lot of black mascara. If you are those ladies that want to appear five years younger, use your cheek color right under your eyebrows that would make your eye area pop immediately. As Ayanda wants to take me out tonight, and I want all the guys in town to be jealous of me and her, of her and me, sorry for this, I'm going to create the perfect boyfriend lips. You might ask yourself, what are boyfriend lips? You remember boyfriend jeans, those really big jeans that all the girls all around the globe are wearing, so I created boyfriend lips. By using lip and cheek stain, color rose, in a really kind of irregular way applied all over her lip, can look a bit messy and patchy, just like her boyfriend has just kissed it off. So what I'm going to do, take out the product and just add it all over your lips in a really kind of patchy way. You can even increase the top lip line, as you can see here. If you need some help, take your blusher brush, just blend it to areas you want to use it, like I said. It doesn't have to look too neat, too neat. Just use a bit more in the center, right here. In combination with my absolute all-time favorite lip gloss, which is the High Shine Lip Treatment number 11, Juicy Peach. Using the lipstick and concealer brush, just add a small amount, and use this all over your lips. Like this, you're gonna achieve that really kind of juicy, fresh lip look. And especially for the ones of you that don't like lip liners, which I'm gonna use on my second look, this is a great alternative to make the most of your lips. Right here. Can I have a smile? It's lovely. And guess what, guys? To finish up this amazing look, 
Fayanda and myself for tonight use vitamin E face mist. How surprising. As the makeup doesn't just finish on your chin, I'd like to introduce you to my favorite products to use all over your body, especially if you have a beautiful skin on your arms like she has. You can use a bit of shimmer like this. I'm using the dry shimmering oil of our Honey Bronx collection. Just shake that bottle. A small amount out, straight onto your arm. And can you smudge that with your other hand? That's it. Fantastic. So beautiful fragrance. So ideally you combine our Neroli Jasmine with that fragrance, uh, with that product, and you can also just go simply with that one item to increase your shimmer and also add a fantastic fragrance to your body. For the ones of you that don't think this is enough and you need a bit more shimmer, take our fantastic brilliance powder, take the product out, shake it once, so you have one portion in the top, shake it twice, you have a bit of more. I'm just using it all over her arms. Her decolletage, I've been waiting for this. And we are going to the other side. As well as I'm gonna apply a bit on the upper cheekbones. And there she is, ready to hit the nightlife of Cape Town, obviously with me. <laughs> See you later.